Hey there, guys. It's Xander here. Welcome back to part eight of the How to Make a Movie series on The Real Deal, which is charting our progress making our very first feature film. Uh, this video is going to be all about the making of the Proof of Concept trailer. If you haven't already seen it, I'd recommend going and checking it out. Why have you not already seen it? What? Well, because, I don't know. So okay. go and check it out. It's part seven, and uh, it'll give you an idea as to what this it's is amazing. all about. Yeah, it's pretty damn cool. So, uh... Anyway, here's a short clip to whet your appetite, get you in the mood, and we'll be back with you in a short minute. As opposed to a long minute. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Jesus! Don't what the hell's going on? Get back, get back. So, as you can probably tell, the film itself is going to be a sci-fi thriller. We made this uh, proof of concept trailer with no budget by using some of the equipment we already owned and calling on a lot of favours and getting friends involved. Um, Elliot's here with me now. Hello! <laughs> the purpose here was to create something cinematic to try and demonstrate the potential of the project. And although um, it doesn't reflect the production values we want for the final film, we are very happy with what we managed to achieve with limited resources. And uh, we hope you find this video interesting. So, uh, here we go. I guess the first thing to talk about is what we shot this on. This was the first time we'd used the Canon 7D DSLR camera, and we had a lot of success. We were lucky enough to borrow this from a friend of ours called Amir. Here he is. Good mate. Good man. And uh, Amir was also the clapper loader on this shoot. Board it. Slate 21, take two. Slate one, take three. Slate four, take two. Slate 28, take one. The clapper board that Amir is using was kind of like a homemade adaptation. We've got a traditional black slate clapper board, but we gave it a bit of an update using some white camera tape and some paper and also some plastic CD cases so that Amir could write on it with his pen and it would rub off. Bit of a blue peter job, but very effective. The reason we had a clapper board was, although the Canon 7D has its own internal mic, we actually wanted to record the sound separately using the Sony Z1. Get focus, get focus, get focus. Okay. So the lines are here, like, John, what's going on? And just breathing. And breathing. Yeah, a bit of, <laughs> a bit of both, really. <laughs> Not helping, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody John, do something. Okay. It was really great to have Amir with us. He's very knowledgeable about the cannons and the settings, and he really looked after us. I don't think the shoot would have gone as smoothly as it did without Amir. We didn't have any accessories with the camera. We just went with it almost as it would be out the box, and I think a lot can be said for that. Snappier. So from the window, snap to Alice. <clears throat> you could even give yourself a bit of a shake with the radiator and stuff. Is that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not too much. <laughs> <laughs> to a surfboard. Okay, ready? Shaking, everything's falling off. Stuff's coming off the shelves. Books are falling down. Stuff's smashing all around you. Okay, look at Alice. That's it. Oh my God. Jump up. That's good. Yeah, I actually think that's a really important point. Um, everywhere I look online I see a lot of information about all the different add-ons and gadgets and gizmos you can get for these cameras and yes they are really useful and they will help and they will make things easier but they're not entirely necessary and I'd hate to think that there are people out there who have got these cameras but think that they need all this equipment to, uh, to make them work and to get the best results. I think uh, this proves, if anything, that you can just pick up this camera and get out there and with a bit of experience get some fantastic images. Ooh. <laughs> That's all right, nice. Three, two, one. Flash. Jesus. Get back, get back. Shh. Okay, stand forward a pace and do the same line. So, it is. so you're in the light. Don't move from the light, sorry. Yeah, it's all right. Get back. 
Get back. Very good. Three, two, one. Flash. No vocal. Sorry. No vocal. No vocal. <laughs> Three, two, one. Flash. Christ! That was fine. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Cut. So here's some footage from our wheelie chair dolly. Don't know whether any of you guys remember that tutorial, but we actually made that for this shoot. We had MicroTrack booked, but it suddenly became unavailable and we had to come up with a solution. So, you know, we made a, a dolly out of a wheelie chair, an office chair. And uh, I think you'll agree, the footage looks pretty good. It's probably not as good as you'd get on a proper dolly or MicroTrack, but for our requirements, it was perfect. Um, we wanted tracking to kind of keep up with that cinematic look. And I would say, given our space constraints in filming in that very small room, it probably worked out for the best, don't you think? Yeah, I definitely agree. I mean, the micro track can be quite fiddly at times, can't it? And it's quite yep. large. So I think uh, it just goes to show that um, sometimes having to find solutions to obstacles can work out for the better. And yeah, again, in the limited space that we were filming in, our little wheelie dolly chair was very quick. We could move it around nice and quick. And, it, and I think it worked out for the better for us. So quite a success. You might even say it was wheelie good. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Wheelie Big Cheese. Does anyone remember that? Robot Wars. <laughs> no, carry on. Great. Um, so that's the end of part one of this amazing tutorial sequence. There's so much we want to talk about. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't get too excited. <laughs> um, there's so much we want to talk about that we've split this up into several tutorials. The next one's all going to be about lighting because we want to get into a bit more detail about lighting because it plays such an important role. So come back for part two. Lighting.